Alrighty, so this is a 1992 Buick Roadmaster wagon that I picked up from an estate sale just about a week ago. Doing a walk around here. This was a older gentleman's car and it was very, very well maintained. Uh, if you're looking at the car, it's very, very clean. The uh, There's no fading over here. The wrap is very clean. The bumpers and the protectors that are on it are real clean. See the roof, it's got the sky light, moon roof, whatever you want to call it, the roof rack. You see the paint, it's very clean, I'm not faded. It was garage kept, as far as I know, its whole life. The estate sale had it listed in the garage and then they jump started it and pulled it out. Tires, you know, they're not so good. Corner lights, you can see the um, vinyl is still in really good shape. Now I did see, a, I do have maintenance records about two inches thick on this. So I know everything that's pretty much been done to it in the last 28 years. He was the original owner, but the title was um, changed over from, it was, he was military, so it was changed over from another title to a Texas title at one point in time. But he is the original order, owner. The shield and everything, I mean the lights, the headlights are really clean, the hood is clean. It's got that sun windshield, I, I don't remember the name offhand, but everything's clean. I mean, it's got a couple issues, it's not perfect, because it is almost a 30 year old car. But I do believe that there was some vinyl work done on it three, three years ago, because I saw a receipt for some vinyl work. I'm not sure what was done. It may have been this outer wrap or here, because there's a couple marks on the vinyl. So, like here, there's a little thing here. I'm not sure what was exactly done here. Paint, and and basically all I did was washed it. So here's the uh, back seat. It looks like it's never been sat in. Of course, that's the beauty of the Roadmaster, is the uh, swing out tailgate. Something that these wagons did, uh, and in fact, Today, the only thing that even comes close to that, I think, is the Buick Ridge Line. Not Buick. The Honda Ridge Line has that swing out down tailgate. But they got the idea, of course, from here. So you can see the uh, third row seat. It looks like it's never been sat in. It's very clean. Now, he had a lot of, junk, a lot of stuff back here. I cleaned that out. But relatively speaking, all I did was wipe this car down a little bit. But it, it, it pretty much looked like this when I got it. And I did a lot of road trips. There's a whole bunch of maps in here from all over, not the whole country, Louisiana, Minnesota, Texas, Virginia, Arkansas, Iowa. I don't think they had a family. I think it was just the husband and wife. So it was very clean. Now that this, this handle thing broke off, that's not a big deal. That can be fixed. But it does work that way. As you can see, the tailgate. So I'll close. I mean, here I clean this out a little bit, but this is it was it's relatively clean. You can see here this is not dry rotted. He took very very good care of this car. Maintenance records, like I said, two inches thick. Now these are just my little dogs I put in here. That's just for for fun. But you can see the back seat looks like it's never been sat in, or hardly ever been sat in couple of marks there the carpet I haven't done any vacuuming in this car I just cleaned it out a little bit and the moon roof you can see the had some stuff in the pockets but here everything is nice and clean now the back windows don't go up and down they've been broken there was an invoice from a local repair shop that said the windows were broken and the customer didn't want to have them fixed it's got the mat. Underneath the mat, it's perfectly clean. No cracked dash. That sun glare windshield, I think that's what it's called, helped. You can see the seats. The only issue is the driver's seat. Very common though. It's a very common thing to go bad and it's easy fix for an upholstery shop. Because all I gotta do is change that little section. I do know this has changed out at one time. 
maybe a couple, five, six, seven, eight years ago, the control went bad and he had it changed out. The radio tape deck doesn't work, no big deal. The twilight mirror headliner is very clean. Let's see under here. Has the uh, um, owner's manual, glove box is clean. clean. Uh, windows all, front windows and seats all, everything, all that works. It's got the uh, alloy wheels. And come around here again. Even has the privacy screen, privacy screen, depending on who you talk to. Like aluminium. <laughs> the uh, This here, I meant... This was perfect. I broke this when I was trying to figure out the windows. So I did I did order a new one. I ordered one I found to use on eBay. It's in good shape. So I messed that up. This was already off. That I think I could fix. I'll, I'll try trying to find another cover. You know, it's got the standard cruise, the auto headlights. Let's go under the hood. And then we'll get to the point of what you think the mileage might be on this car. You'd be surprised. So... Underneath the hood, it was this clean when I got it. I did nothing to it, no cleaning, no nothing. The uh, AC compressor has been replaced. It's been converted to 134. It's got a new starter a couple of years ago. It's actually had maybe two starters total replaced over service records from the dealer in a local shop. The air conditioning is cold. I believe that brake booster has been replaced. I think I saw some, there, there was work about brakes alternator i'm not sure but the water pump has been replaced once or twice the radiator was replaced once and then the replacement started leaking so it was changed under warranty radiator hoses are all been replaced the clutch fan has been replaced i mean it's got oil cooler lines replaced the neighbor was leaving and the noise and everything from her car would have distracted but okay so what i was saying is that um the only thing I did is I took off the silencer box on this and then I sealed it up and put some tape on there because because they don't they're not it takes away horsepower and everything. I mean everything else in here is all you know is in great shape. Uh, if the spark plugs have been replaced over time, Colt plug wires, cap distributor. It's it's been very very well maintained. In fact, it's probably been over maintained, and I think the shop kind of took advantage of the people being older because they flushed the brake fluid, they flushed the power steering fluid, they flushed the, um, what, what other fluids we got in here? Or power steering, transmission, well that's all good, but you know, things that you really never need to really do, power, brake fluid, power steering fluid, you know, like, oh, it's dirty and, and everything, but you can see these lines, the radiator, you can see it looks like it's replaced. The O2 sensor right there I know has been replaced. From the service records the uh, steering box I don't know if it was replaced but I would be surprised uh, I mean you can see how a little residue over there from probably from when it had a leak because that thermostat was replaced and there was a leak or something so I mean relatively speaking this you know you're looking at this car you think to yourself what are the what's the mileage on it and you'd be surprised we'll go in here and look at the dash the mileage is 170.861. This car has been driven 170,000 miles and it doesn't even look like it. And it was very, very well maintained. Uh, that switch there is a little flaky. But I mean, it's, it's really clean. It's a great car. And it was a really good find. I got it for a pretty good deal. I guess that's about it.